Hello wrestling fans, nostalgia nuts, hobby enthusiasts, it's Tom here from Collector Wrestlepalooza. Today's video I am talking about wrestling VHS, more specifically WWF Wrestlemania on VHS. I looked at eBay auctions that had sold and completed between July and September of this year, and we're going to look at the prices. I chose auctions only because I feel like buy it now and best offer is not necessarily indicative of the true market. It's also hard to uh, legitimize those sales or know if they actually went through and at what price. Uh, eBay tends to be a little bit more transparent on the auction prices realized. So we're going to look at those prices together. You're going to want to stay tuned for the whole video. Some of them might surprise you. Let's do this. Collect a Wrestlepalooza. We're going to start here with notable VHS sales. One thing you're going to notice is graded copies of VHS are popping on the market. I don't know if 70 or 80 in these two copies are good grades. If you do know, please leave a comment below. We're going to start with WrestleMania 4 graded. One thing I do want to note on that is check out the price label on the bottom right, or I should say the price banner. They're saying $59.95. I have seen copies of WrestleMania 4 that say only $49.95 and some say that only $39.95. I'm guessing the $59.95 is an earlier release or a first press. Let's see what someone paid for a sealed and graded copy. $679. Let's move on to WrestleMania 5, Macho Man vs. Hulk Hogan, The Mega Powers Explode, one of my favorite VHS cover arts for WrestleMania of all time. This one only $405. I say only $405 because I'm comparing it to WrestleMania 4. Uh, WrestleMania 3 Sealed. This is Hogan vs. Andre, probably the most iconic moment in professional wrestling history when Hogan slammed Andre the Giant. This one commanded $876. I think we're seeing a trend here. Anything with Hogan, the early WrestleManias, graded and sealed. Uh, some nice prices for those. Let's move on here to what might be some great deals. Now the reason I'm suggesting these might be deals is they also feature two iconic stars, Hulk Hogan and The Rock, WrestleMania 18. And one thing I don't know is the print runs. I'm imagining the early WrestleManias, there were a lot of VHSs printed because they went into rental stores. I don't know by the time WrestleMania 18 came around if VHS was as much of a thing, or if perhaps it was more of a thing. Maybe they mass produced these. I don't know the answer to that. If you do know anything about print runs on VHS, again, please leave a comment and help us out here. But I'm looking at the prices. What did someone pay for sealed copies of WrestleMania 18? Now remember, WrestleMania a three sealed went for over 800 bucks. Only eight and twelve dollars. Something to look out for if you're a collector. Uh, if you find sealed copies of some of these WrestleManias, perhaps it's a good time to snatch them up. Now we're going to start looking at some raw copies of WrestleMania. This is WrestleMania 20. It went for only $10. Great entry point if you are looking for some nostalgia. Raw WrestleManias, you can buy them quite affordable right now. Moving on to WrestleMania 12, there was one sealed copy sold and two raw copies. We're going to start with the raw copies. This one featured Ultimate Warrior. You can also see Undertaker, Diesel, Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels. Very attractive cover art. The raw copy sold for $15 and $10. So how much did the sealed copy sell for? Remember WrestleMania 18 only sold for $10. WrestleMania 3 sold for 800 in sealed copies. This one sold for $598, quite a nice price for a sealed WrestleMania, right? Now let's look at WrestleMania 14. We have two raw copies and one sealed copy sold. The raw copies only went for four and five dollars. Now this really surprised me because WrestleMania 14 features Stone Cold and more importantly Mike Tyson. And my thought was any of these crossover events that have superstars like Mike Tyson who's really hot might command a premium but apparently they do not. Sealed copy, same story. That one only sold for $26, which seems like a great deal. Moving on to Raw WrestleMania 2. These were big clamshells. Looks like X Rentals. At least the one on the left, you can see the category sticker. Probably said wrestling, so the 
video store owner would know to file it into the wrestling category. Uh, these sold for only $11 and $15, Hogan versus Bundy. Moving on to raw copies of WrestleMania 5. This was one of my picks a few months ago for something to buy, and these copies are selling incredibly inexpensive. $10, $18, and $5. Again, just for the cover art alone, I feel like this is a great pickup. WrestleMania 11, how much did this one sell for? Another great cover. I like the foil on the Coliseum label at the top. We have Diesel, Shawn Michaels, Bam Bam Bigelow, and then LT, Lawrence Taylor. This one sold for $14. All that nostalgia for only 14 bucks. Some great entry points for VHS collectors. Moving on to WrestleMania 17, this one also had two raw sales and one sealed sale. Let's start with the raw sales. $8 and $26. This one surprised me as well. The sealed copy sold for only $49. Only a multiple of two over the raw copy. There must be more sealed copies out there, or maybe this is just a great steal right now. WrestleMania 17, Stone Cold and The Rock sealed for under 50 bucks. WrestleMania 1, the granddaddy, Hulk Hogan and Mr. T. This is another pick of mine for people that want to start out their collection. Pick up a copy of WrestleMania 1 in a clamshell. You're going to love the nostalgia. These ones sold for only $18 and $16. If you go on eBay right now, WrestleMania 1s, people are asking 40 and 50 bucks. But if you wait for an auction, you can usually pick them up for much less. WrestleMania 10, a great, great event. People love WrestleMania 10. You can buy them for $9 or $11 raw right now. Moving on to WrestleMania 13. Love the cover art on this one as well. Bright, bright colors. Uh, two sales between July and September that were eBay auctions. $18 and $30. Notably, the $30 one was more recent. Maybe this one is trending up. Love the cover art and love seeing Psycho Sid with the belt. WrestleMania 8, check it out. You've got Hogan, you've got Flair, you've got Macho all on the cover. This one sold for $25. WrestleMania 7, one of the most heated feuds in WWF history. Sergeant Slaughter versus Hogan. Some say they crossed the line. This one sold for $26. WrestleMania 7 might be one to pick up right now. There are a couple of cover variants I have seen out there, but just the whole nostalgia of Hogan versus Sergeant Slaughter, that time period, the crossover culturally, great, great event. WrestleMania 6. This is another pick of mine. Look at that cover art with the lightning. You've got Hogan. You've got Warrior. Some say this was the apex of that age in the sport. You had two champions wrestling each other. You were either Camp Hogan or Camp Warrior. If you were a kid, you know what I'm talking about. These sold for $32 and $23. One other thing, you can notice it on the picture on the left. This was part of the Big Box series, which basically meant that the cardboard box was bigger than the VHS tape and there was actually a gap on the bottom right hand side of the of the cassette you can see there's actually a channel running up there so very very hard to find in good condition because even in shipping that channel would get crushed because it was just air inside so if you can find a good copy of WrestleMania 6 definitely pick it up WrestleMania 9 only had one sale as well. Do love that foil on the Coliseum banner at the top. You've got Brutus Beefcake, you've got Bret Hart, Hogan, Jimmy Hart. Very colorful cover. This one sold for 30 bucks. And that does it, folks. That's the WrestleMania review VHS. Uh, the main things I wanted to show in this video is two things. I wanted to show the potential value of sealed VHS. You did notice that some of them sold for hundreds of dollars and some of them sold for $20 to $30. So maybe the $20 to $30 copies will be hundreds of dollars once more collectors come into this category, or I should say if more collectors come into this category. And the other thing I wanted to show was that the most expensive raw auction of a WrestleMania VHS between July and September was 30 bucks. So what an entry point there. For under $30, you can buy this wonderful, amazing nostalgia. So get out there, collect, have some fun, enjoy your week. 
Collect the wrestle palooza. Collect the wrestle palooza.